Moki Johnson's wife could not control her emotions as she told VOA she has no information about those who took the life of her husband. My husband has been killed and his body has been found along Terekeka Road. I heard that he has been burned inside the car. It's the security that called one of the uncles that there is a dead body. They burned the car and threw his ID. I don't have many details. I became weak, but there are people who took the dead body to the mortuary. Johnson's brother, who spoke on condition of anonymity for fear of retribution from the suspected killers, says the news of his brother's death shocked the entire family. The body was found on Juba uh, Terekeka Road, and then when we went to identify, the vehicle was next to him, and his IDs were thrown next to him. The truth must be said. What has he done that he deserves all this kind of treatment? We have never been given at least just to visit him or even to talk to him. And up to now, nobody's even telling us who killed him, despite all the security organs in the city. Nobody's telling us what happened. At least we will have heard something from either the security organs, and they say this is what happened to him. Either he died in the prison or he died of sickness, but he has to find a dead wood lying on the street. Omar Joseph works for the non profit Human Rights Defenders Network. He says Johnson's death should be investigated immediately. This is an act of extrajudicial killing, which is a crime. We cannot continue to abduct and kidnap people. If you know that this person has committed a crime, he must be taken to a court of law. We have courts in this country. We have institutions that are supposed to look after this matter. If you know that this person committed a crime, why don't you hand over to the police? It is really unbecoming. And we charge the government that government should also investigate this. Joseph says if security officials kill Johnson, they too should be investigated. Several calls to the police spokesperson for a comment on the matter went unanswered. The South Sudan Police Service had installed CCTV cameras across Juba City to fight crime. Baboya James, an independent policy analyst, says the government must do more to protect South Sudanese across the country. It is not really very interesting to see that such a very young, energetic, charismatic and intelligent human resource can be lost like that. A South Sudanese we should take the death of Moki as an opportunity to begin to strengthen the security system in South Sudan, to begin to provide safety and protection to many people in this country, because it's peace that people are yearning for. It's peace that people want to have it as a commodity for economic, social development. Johnson, who is in his 40s, was picked up by unknown individuals last month. His body was found along the Juba Terekeka Road on Wednesday. According to the family, results from the mortuary indicates that his right hand was electrocuted and his leg was broken. For VOA News, I'm Dennis Logoni reporting from Juba.